Kuspa. Yes. Yeah. We are good to start. Okay. So first of all, uh, good evening and uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, myself to sir and uh, today our topic is on content hub one so we will go through the details of content hub one and today's our agenda is like what is content hub one why we need to use content hub one and how the content hub one will uh, actually work and uh, what are the things are there in content hub one and then the last we have the question and answer session so that we will cover in that part so before uh deep dive into our session today uh let me introduce myself like uh myself uh uh i'm a tusar panchal and i have around uh, seven plus years of uh site core technology experience I am Sidecore certified as well as a Content Hub certified professional, and I would like to learn more in Sidecore. And it's around uh, now more than um, seven plus years where I exploring Sidecore. Here in this slide, I have shared my uh, LinkedIn uh, link where where you can uh, connect with me. Apart from the technical background, I would like to spend time with my friends and family. And uh, below I have shared the blog link where I'm uh, posting the learning with uh, the learning, my learning. So you can uh, go and explore that as well. And also I have shared my email address. If you have any question or anything, we can reach out to me or you can add in a, our team chat as well. So uh, without wasting much time, let's move to the, our uh, introduction part of Content Hub One. So Content Hub One is basically cloud native, agile, headless content management system where a uh, developer and marketer can easily uh, manage the content and reuse the content and they can uh, share the content with n number of omni channels uh, which they have and the main thing which uh, is there in content hub one is that uh, the quick modeling authoring and delivering uh, content of any type so uh, we have the flexible way to model our content uh, the author can easily um, make the changes on content or create the content and uh, the smooth uh, delivery where we just need to publish the content and that will be available to our downstream channel. Mainly, uh, mainly uh, the content management. So uh, the main uh, purpose, like uh, as we all know in the current market, like content is a king. So how effectively you can deliver your content into your uh, all the downstream channel, that is the primary motto of any organization with help of content hub one uh, the modeler or the author user can easily create content and they can deliver that content to their uh, downstream channel as well as uh, same way the developer has an api which they can utilize as well as they have the sdk available so they can utilize those sdk to extend those content to their downstream channel and uh, make it available for the any uh, downstream channel like website mobile app any system which they have so let's move to the next slide so that's the thing like what is content hub now why we need to use content hub so here i have listed a uh, key features which are available in content hub one so they have the powerful content modeling user interface that's the first uh, key feature like uh, we have the ui where we can log in and we simply create our model and that model based on that model we can simply create a content and that will be delivered to the downstream channel with help of uh, the streamline user interface also uh, they have the media management so 
if we need to manage our assets in our uh, we will be able to manage our media into this content of one instance and we can share in that assets with uh, any downstream channel uh, which we have so that is the one of the key feature of content hub one also we have the content management api available so we can uh, utilize those api and then uh, we can uh, make a code operation on the content hub one instance we can uh, create a model with help of those api we can also create a content item and uh, based on the those we can automate the process which we want for our application. Another key feature of Content Hub One is a preview and delivery GraphQL API. So uh, whenever we uh, whenever we add any content in Content Hub One, so we have the preview mode. So before uh, publishing those content, we can validate those content with help of that preview mode. So whenever we add a content so it will be available for the preview mode and then once we publish it will be available for the delivery node and that that will be managed through the cdn like when we publish the content so it will be uh, managed in a site code age location where we have the caching and all those stuffs are there and we can utilize that Another uh, key feature of Content Hub One is JavaScript and client SDK. So they have the SDK available, like uh, we have the JavaScript SDK as well as .NET Core SDK, which we can utilize and uh, um, utilize for our application development. As well as uh, we have the command line interface uh, where we can serialize uh, our content items, which we are creating in Content Hub, as well as the content type which we are uh, creating in Content Hub and those will be serialized into your local system and with help of this uh, command line interface we can move our content from one uh, Content Hub one instance to another Content Hub one instance and that will help uh, to reduce the manual efforts which we uh, need to do like uh, moving the content from one instance to another instance and the main key feature like uh, it's a SaaS product so uh, it is hosted by Sitecore and uh, we do not need to manage any infrastructure things in Content Hub 1. All we need to manage we just need to manage the application. So uh, these are the key feature of Content Hub 1 and uh, let me go to the next slide which is regarding the architectural overview of this product. So in this uh, PPT slide, you will be able to see the flow where uh, on the top right side, a content user, a content author or any user which can interact with the content hub one and they can create a content. And once they create a content, it will publish to the delivery age location. And then that delivery age location will provide content to the downstream channel like a website, mobile app or any downstream channel which are consuming those content. The user can direct, uh, directly interact with the uh, channels downstream channel to get access the content uh, that is also possible. And then uh, the another things like the asset management in Content Hub One, right? So assets management, whenever user upload the assets, so they are uploading uh, those assets into media management system, and that management system will responsible to provide the asset to the, our downstream channel. So this is an overall uh, uh, flow of this product where uh, the data flow and uh, how they are managing uh, those contents and uh, media so let's move to the next slide so media management system media management system is uh, the system which uh, we have seen in our previous diagram like uh, when uh, we upload any assets okay so assets will upload into the blob storage and then we have the so user can directly upload assets from content hub one we have that media upload APIs available, which we can utilize to make that process automated. 
as well as we have the delivery API available, which we can utilize to uh, share our assets to the our uh, any uh, downstream channel. So this is the media management flow of uh, Content Hub One, where uh, we have the flexibility of the API based management as well as the user can manage from the application dashboard as well. Now. This is the overall flow of Content Hub One uh, architecture, but let's go into the de uh, detail like uh, what are the things uh, the cloud native side SaaS product has. So if you see in the right hand uh, left hand side, we have three different things are available and those are clubbed together to make a Content Hub One. So one, uh, the first one is a media delivery system. Media delivery system is uh, the system which is managing our media assets into Content Hub One. And then we have the delivery edge uh, where we have global content delivery APIs available, which will be responsible to deliver content to our downstream channel. And uh, Content Hub One is a C headless CMS where we can manage our content. So usually, uh, whenever uh, a marketer has a friendly UI available in Content Hub One, so they can log in into Content Hub One and they can model or author any content here. And then they simply save those content into Content Hub One. And once those content will be published, so whenever that publish, it will be uh, available to the delivery age location as well as the media delivery server so those will further transfer those assets to our uh, any uh, omni channel like uh, website or date uh, whenever we consume those data so that's the uh, whole concept here on content hub one so in this uh, slide i have uh, added only two uh, downstream channel but that's the n number of uh, downstream channel available which where you can consume your data like you have the social uh, channels where you want to post those data so those uh, things are there which you can manage through the configuration or uh, implementing a custom uh, data sharing mechanism so this is the overall flow of uh, the product and how that content flow in Content Hub One. Now, here in this pay, uh, this slide, I have just uh, showcased you the home page of Content Hub One. So, whenever you log in into Content Hub One, you will be able to see this screen. And in this screen, uh, the four main boxes are there, right? So, these four boxes are uh, has a different. Uh, uh, different uh, functionality. So the first box here, if you let me just. So this is the content modeling uh, feature where we can create a content type. So let's take an example that you want to create a content for your blog or uh, any a news article. So first of all, you need to create a content in con content type in Content Hub One, and then you need to utilize that content type and create a content using this functionality. And then if in that content you need to upload some assets. So for that you can uh, use this uh, upload media items option and there you can upload the assets and you can reference those assets to the. Content item, so that's the uh, things here. And also here you can generate an API key, so which will be utilized in your uh, downstream channel and that will be communicate uh, further with the content hub one to get the data. Below of this screenshot, if you see they have provided an SDK details as well, so we can refer this detail to download those uh, .NET or JavaScript SDK. Also right hand side uh, right hand side on top they have the documentation links available so you can refer those document links and uh, with help of those document you can go and deep dive into that particular uh, area. Also we have the support. Uh, 
if you want to create a sitecore support case then we can directly create the support case from this uh, dashboard itself we have this option available here so we can utilize that for that as well and then I think once uh, this is the overall uh, uh, overview of the Content Hub 1 home page, and then we have certain other pages are there in Content Hub 1. So these are the different pages has a different uh, uh, content view, like the first one is a content type. So whenever you create a new content type, those content type will be created inside this particular section. So you have a grid where you will be able to see all the content types which are which you have created. And then the second tab is a content tab where uh, you will be able to see uh, the content item which you have created. And if you want to create a new content item, you need to go to that particular section and you need to create a content. So whenever you try to create a content, it will allow you uh, open a pop up with uh, the content type options, which content type you want to select, and then you can create a content item based on that type. And then uh, media section is same, like we need to upload the media. So we can upload media or we can search the media. Those we have previously uploaded in Content Hub 1. And the last section is a setting section. So there are certain configurations available in Content Hub 1. Uh, the first one is the system information. So whenever you have uh, uh, the instance available by Sitecore, so they have the tenant ID and or, uh, organization ID. So those are uh, utilized to um, uh, identify those uh, instance of Content Hub 1. Apart from that, they have the usage statistic uh, things are there in Content Hub 1. So you can uh, go through those statistics and you can uh, review the performance of your content. Like if you have too much content items or uh, content types available, how that uh, performance is uh, going on by delivering those content and where you can improve the performance. So those things you will be able to see from the user statistic, which is available in settings section. And then they have recently introduced a new uh, settings like local. So when you will be able to uh, make a content in multiple languages, so that is also available. So you can create a content and you can uh, manage that same uh, content item in multiple language as well. So this this is an overview of the home page of Content Hub One. And let me just go to the slide so now we have an idea on content hub one uh, from the desktop uh, the overall uh, product page view as well as uh, the architectural view so now let's uh, understand the key concept so some of the key concepts which we need to uh, understand first before we deep dive into that particular section so whenever we need to create a structure so that structure in content hub one we call it as a content type so content type is basically uh, inside code terminology we are creating a template and that template will be utilized uh, to create a content item so uh, content item is basically uh, the content which we are creating and that will be utilized for our uh, website or anything. Also, they have uh, the reference field concept available. So reference field is basically uh, we need to map uh, one content item with another content item. So let's take an example that you have a blog uh, content type and in the blog content type you have the author field so author might be a single author has a multiple blogs so if you want to manage those things so in in each blog you do not need to create a uh, author detail again and again so what you need to do in that case you need to refer this reference field concept and then you can map that uh, author content so you need to create a two different content types and then Block content will refer a respective author content with help of this reference field. So 
that's the another concept in Content Hub One. And then we have the media item. So media item is basically the assets which we are storing in Content Hub One. So we can refer those directly from the uh, image field which we are utilizing uh, creating uh, when we create a content. So these are the uh, Content Hub concept which I think uh, we need to uh, understand first, and then I think it will be helpful for the future development and all those stuff. Let's move to the next slide. So our next slide is basically on a content modeling part. So as I mentioned, like uh, if we want to design a component, so that component will have a certain uh, fields which we want to uh, create. So to manage those fields, uh, the content modeling is uh, the way where we need to define a content modeling and then that content modeling part will have a structure available in place in Sitecore uh, Content Hub 1 and that we will utilize for our content creation. If you see here, uh, I have uh, added the same example which I have given like uh, if you want to have a company bio as a reference field so that I have mentioned here, same as the blog post which I have mentioned. So the primary motto of content modeling is to make our content reusable. So it uh, we need to take care that uh, as much as we will be able to normalize the data because if we are not um, normalizing those things, then we need to create content repeatedly and uh, user has to manage those those content in multiple uh, locations which we need to avoid. So the modeling part is the most important thing whenever we uh, start on content of one project. I think we need to focus on modeling part like uh, creating all the structure before we start and then uh, we uh, go through the each edge look edge uh, points as well like uh, we need to go to the each edge uh, point which we need to cover in this and try to make it uh, more generic so it will be uh, in reusable for the other section as well so this is the content modeling part content modeling is uh, one of the things now another thing is authoring part so authoring part is like uh, once we have the modeling uh, ready we have created a content type in content hub one now author will utilize those content type and create a content. So whenever they uh, create a content, so default uh, the workflow state is a draft state. And then once they are ready to go, then they will publish the content. So once they publish the content, that content will be available to the delivery uh, endpoints and uh, those are ready to consume by our downstream channel. And if they made any change in published content and then that will be switched to the change uh, workflow and then it will go again to the draft and they can publish those things. So authoring part is also uh, important and I think uh, with help of uh, good modeling structure, we will uh, be providing them a flexibility to manage content. So that's uh, another uh, key concept in uh, Content Hub 1. Now we'll uh, move to the users and the roles which are available in Content Hub 1. So basically uh, we have three different types of uh, roles available like uh, honors. So honors is basically uh, the highest permission of that uh, instance so they can manage uh, multiple instance and they can uh, grant permissions to the admin users as well. And the admin user is another role where uh, the user will have a permission to uh, manage the organization user and they are also able uh, to access all app of the organization. So in a Sitecore uh, SaaS world, like uh, whenever we log in into a Sitecore uh, portal.sitecore.io, then uh, we will have our old products are listed on the dashboard and we will navigate to uh, each product based on our access. So that one thing here. And third is the user. So users are basically a specific organization user or they can manage the content and uh, create, publish and uh, 
um, manage media items in Content Hub One application. So these three different uh, users and roles are available in Content Hub One. So that's the role part. Now I think uh, our next slide is basically uh, the AI. So uh, Content Hub Content Hub One supports an AI. Uh, so we can utilize the AI capability to design our content modeling as well as we can utilize the AI capability to generate a content. And uh, we can also improve our content with help of this AI tool. So they have uh, inbuilt uh, features available for AI. So we just need to uh, prompt and it will uh, give us uh, the required things which uh, we have added in our prompt. So I think that's the very good feature of Content Hub 1 where uh, uh, the user or author has a flexibility that they can uh, create and they have an idea on content by help of this AI feature. So I think that's the uh, part of Content Hub uh, 1 AI feature. And then let me go to the next part like uh, the question and answer. So is there any question or answer in uh, question uh, uh, till now we have? Okay, I think uh, let me check the Okay, so I think uh, AI in content have won. Uh, so let me just uh, brief on that like uh, Let me so let me go to that slide. So AI part like uh, if you want to create a model for your blog article. So uh, you need to write a prompt with the field details like what you want and which type of so AI will suggest you and it will create a model for you in Content Hub 1 and then you can make a correction on into it and then uh, it will be available. Uh, for the use so you can uh, finally approve and save those things same way let me just go to the document of site course so you have a better idea on that just one minute i'm just stops just one So uh, content type designer and content item generation. So if we go here in this link. So uh, create a content type using AI. So here on this page, I just need to give a prompt like generate a content type and then blah, blah, blah. And then I need to uh, give a valid prompt. Then it will uh, generate the structure and that we can utilize for our content modeling. Same way, uh, we can generate content as well. So let me just go to the content generation flow as well. So here also you can see 
uh, the prompt and uh, it will regenerate based on our correction here same way uh, content hub okay generating content using ai so here if you uh, when we go to that uh, content tab which i have showcased you in a previous slide and then we just need to create on create content item so whenever we open the content item it will uh, ask us to create a content which type of content you want to create and then once we have uh, that pop up available sorry so we have the start with ai option is there so it will uh, generate a content based on uh, our prompt here if you see we can provide the prompt and then it will generate the content so this is an out of the box feature available in content hub one so which we can uh, do to improve our content in content hub one so that is the overall things about the ai which are available in content hub one now another thing is they have recently introduced is a uh, localization so i think that i haven't included but uh, in my slide but i will just showcase you like uh, if uh, previously we do not have that local available in content hub one so we, we just need to create content in a single language now they have the provision so we have the multiple language support so we can create a new local in our system and uh, that local will be utilized uh, for the new language like uh, the fr language we can create content on that so whenever we create this thing uh, we need to so they have the configuration as well available inside core like uh, we can set a primary local so whenever we try to create a content by default it will create content in that primary but we have will have an option like uh, we can uh, select a different uh, local on that content creation dialog and that way we can manage a multiple uh, language content in our content hub one i think i hope i have uh, done good in that AI part. OK, I think those are the things. Kusbu, you are there in call, I think. OK, so if no yes. any OK, if no any other question, then we can wrap up our session. So thank you, everyone. And thank you, Sugin team, for providing me this opportunity. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, Tushar, for sharing your knowledge. And thank you all for joining. If you have uh, any questions later, uh, you can connect with Tushar on LinkedIn. And uh, or you can connect with us as well. We can support you in that manner. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.